Katie Jones last updated 1644, September 18, 2017 Members of the Goodman family carry the casket of Sir Patrick Goodman into the St. Peter Chanel Catholic Church Machuica. Tributes have been paid to a great inspiration and gentleman the prominent businessman Sir Patrick Goodman, who was laid to rest in his hometown of Machuica. Nearly 400 people filled St. Peter Chanel Catholic Church for the Requiem Mass on Monday to remember the man who turned his family baking business in the town into a global enterprise. Sir Pat was the founding chairman of Quality Bakers New Zealand, which merged with Fielder Gillespie Davis and Allied Mills of Australia and Wadi Industries to become Goodman Fielder Wadi in 1987. Sir Patrick Goodman was described as a great inspiration and gentleman at his funeral in Machuica. He died in his Machuica home at the age of 88 on Saturday, 9 September. Read more Philanthropist, Arts Patron, Businessman Sir Pat Goodman dies Sir Pat Goodman leaves Machuica Legacy Goodman was knighted in 1995 for services to business, the arts and the community. Sir Patrick Goodman was farewelled in Machuica. He was a storyteller and had an enormous memory and affection for everyone, his son, Patrick Goodman J.N.R. told the congregation. He was a giver of hugs and handshakes, a believer and promoter of community values, always encouraging people to strive to do better themselves. He had the ability to talk to everyone from all walks of life and accentuated the importance of pausing to smell the roses, Goodman said. A photograph of Sir Patrick Goodman and Lady Hilary Goodman at the funeral for Sir Patrick Goodman in Machuica. Dad's life took him to all corners of the world, but he always called Machuica home. Sir Pat was widowed in 2014 when his wife Lady Hilary Goodman died in a car crash in Australia. On our mum's passing his heart was truly broken, today is also about mum and dad being reunited again for eternity, Goodman said. Sir Patrick Goodman was farewelled in a packed St. Peter Chanel Catholic Church in Machuica. The couple used to divide their time between their farm south of Sydney and the original family home in Machuica. Sir Pat and Lady Goodman maintained private lives but remained active in the Machuica Catholic Church and helped build the St. Peter Chanel Church in which the service was held. The Goodmans also made significant donations to Machuica's health services. Machuica's Recreation Center, and to the arts in Nelson, including the Souter Art Gallery. Sir Patrick Goodman and Lady Hilary Goodman. Mourners were told Sir Pat's heart broke when he lost his wife in a car crash in 2014. Gallery Chairman, Craig Potton, praised the extraordinary legacy left by family friends Sir Pat and Lady Hilary, who started the Goodman Souter BNL Art Prize. It really put the suitor on the map nationally in the art world, Potton said. He was a man that had a sense of humor and a man that appreciated that there are different attitudes and perspectives amongst different people. He gave to an area that arts that we wasn't an expert in, but he appreciated it was part of a bigger community that we was trying to contribute to. He definitely had a little bit of a sparkle in his eyes. Among the congregation, was West Coast Osman MP, Damien O'Connor. I've always appreciated his wisdom, O'Connor said after the service. He has been the instigator of the Business Parliamentary Trust which has been building connections between business and parliament since the early 90s, when he set it up. One of the legacies of his wisdom has been one of a healthy, cynical view towards sometimes the bank's behavior around business, and he had to fight some big battles early on in his career. It was a credit to him that he showed what could be done from small town New Zealand, O'Connor said. Sir Pat was a very down-to-earth, practical sort of fellow, according to former mayor of Tasman District, John Hurley, who witnessed Goodman Fielder Wadi grow from humble beginnings. He was in the bakery at a time when it was all damn hard work, said Hurley. The Goodman's three sons, prominent businessmen, Patrick, Greg, and Craig, were among the pallbearers. Greg runs Australia's largest industrial property company, the $14.4 billion Goodman Group, and Craig runs investment company Goodman Holdings. Also at the funeral was the principal of Guerin College, John McGuire, and 16 students from the Catholic College, which Sir Pat and Lady Hillary were instrumental in helping set up. 
Sir Pat was patron of the Garen Hostel. Hostel Trust Chairperson, Phil Donaldson, was Goodman's solicitor and neighbor. If you wanted to talk to him, you'd knock on his door and talk, and you'd think you were going to be five minutes and I tell you what, it was always at least an hour, said Donaldson with a chuckle. Sir Patrick Goodman has been laid to rest in Machuica's cemetery. Stuff.